Hello. Good 
Good day. Good day or good afternoon. Good day or good afternoon. Either way, this is the English way, but it has been localized. So if you don't want to go too in, too much into the Inhanya, which is more traditional, you just stay within this. And then the Inhanya is something people barely use, but then the good afternoon is what you really hear. And since this is this video is geared towards talking Dangbe, let's just use anyone who will be free with. Then we have good evening. Good evening. You can say Kudimi Kudimi. Kudimi Kudimi. That's singular or Kudimi Hamo. Kudimi Hamo. That's so singular. Then plural. Kudimi Hanye. Kudimi Hanye. So that's the Anglo way. So let's go to the um, traditional way. Ihamwama. That's singular. Ihamwama. Ihamwama. Or Ihanyama. Ihanyama. So Ihamwama is um, singular because mo is singular. And then nye is plural. So Ihamwama. That's a um, good evening singular. And Ihanyama. Good evening plural. So you can say the kudimi or the ihamwama or ihanyama. Either way is correct. Okay. Now you want to tell someone bye. We don't really have a way of saying bye in Dangbi or goodbye. We don't really have it. What we say is see you later. Or if God permits tomorrow. Or sleep. So then we have war. 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 So war means tomorrow. Or ke epe ke epe war. Ke epe is like I can't really bring this into English, but then the literal translation if it's that or if it is something like that. So ke epe war if it's that tomorrow or hopefully tomorrow. Let's put it that way. Or Kemau yevua wo. Kemau yevua wo. If God permits tomorrow. Okay. Now you want to tell someone welcome in Dangbe. We say moe. Moe. That singular or nye. Nye. Then you respond e. E. So moe. E. Nye. Now, I hope you are really digesting. If you have questions, kindly ask. Don't forget. Okay. So then, let's continue. You want to say how is the body? The body is hello, hello. So can hello nye ha can can hello nye ha can can hello nye ha can. So you can say hello nye saminya or he hello nye saminya. My body is okay. He hello nye saminya or hello nye saminya. Okay. Then uh, how is everything? Ke no feno nye haken. Ke no feno nye haken. So that is a bit dialectized. So some accents. We go like cannot fell on your hacken or cannot fell on your hacken. Either way, the accent is correct. So let's use cannot fell on your hacken. This accent is a bit okay for this lesson since it is the same in Ga and in Dangbe. So it will make it easier for you. Cannot fell on your hacken. Cannot fell on your hacken. Then you say, No fell on your Samina. No fellow, yes, Samina. Then, uh, you want to tell someone, good night. Normally, we say, war, war, or war, Samina. War, Samina. War is tomorrow. But then, war is sleep. So, war, Samina, sleep well or sleep tight. 
you don't really have a specific greeting for good night. You know, you say tomorrow or sleep well. Or even if, or if God permits tomorrow, come out you go a war. Or you can even say K A P just as we learned previously. Then let's learn how to say God's grace. We say Mau Dromi. Mau Dromi. Mau Dromi. Mau Dromi. So Mau Dromi means God's grace. Now, we have a way of uh, knocking at door or pleading for an excuse. So we say, Ago! Ago! Then when, so suppose you are entering a house, you don't just enter the house, you say, Ago! Then you wait for the response, Amen! If the person says, Amen, you can enter. If the response amen doesn't come, you have no right to enter. Even if you are knocking on a door, I go amen. Or maybe someone has obscured your view, or the person has blocked your view, or the person is in front of you. You say I go, and the person will just give you it. Okay. Now let's learn how to say congratulations in Dangbe. We say Ayeko. Ayeko. So when someone tells you Ayeko, you say by saying Yae. Yae. Or Anyako. Anyako. Then you say by saying Yae. So then Ayeko is singular and Anyako is plural. So you can't um, tell three people Ayeko. No. Anyako. Then you say by saying Yae. Yeah. So then to end it, we have a way of is it greeting or traditional ending, just like the English would say vote of thanks. Okay? But in the Dangbe land and then the Gan land, we normally invoke blessings. So in Dangbe we say Fia ne omane neba. Fia ne omane neba. Fia no mani neba. Fia ne omane neba. So when you say Fia no mani neba, they say Yao. Fia no mani neba. Fiao. So maybe there are a group of elders and if and you maybe you had a meeting with them, you talk, 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 and what's the energy? You say Fia no mani neba. Then Yao. Everybody can go. Now we have some. Specialized greetings in Dangbe. Um, for now, we'll not really talk about it because they are kind of deep greetings. But then, if I'm to I'm to chip in a little, supposing you enter a chief's palace, you can't go and greet good morning, good afternoon. Find a uh, kindly sit an elderly woman from a Dangbe community to lead you. To the chief palace or any elder's palace and let the woman greet on your behalf so once you do it she will kneel in front of the chief and she will recite some greetings so she will say then the, then the chief will respond then they'll start uh, OHMA, a whole lot of greetings normally it's a mouthful for non-dangbe speakers so if in case you enter the community and you are supposed to greet a chief or something, can you find an elderly woman or man to lead you and do that greeting for you before you later leave your address? So, do you have any questions? Can you lay it in the comment box below? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel since lessons come up here and there and if you don't subscribe there's no way you can know as to whether it is in or not also this channel is dedicated to the study of Ghan language and the Gangbe language because the two languages are closely related and thus they must be united so then if you know anyone struggling with the Ghan or Gangbe language or anyone 
we need to know the language. Kindly recommend this channel to the person. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Also, let's try our best to, to patronize Ghanaian languages. Because if we don't patronize Ghanaian languages, no one would patronize Ghanaian languages for us. Fear. Many a money never. Fear.